this morning um, because 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 we got the cheaper ones they probably weren't that friendly well even expensive ones weren't but you know sometimes with God right you know how if you're uncomfortable in the night you're uncomfortable in the day sometimes God may be trying to get our attention you know God sometimes speaks to us in different ways it might be in the night or it might be in the day is, is God trying to get our attention about something today are we uncomfortable about something well let me just read out to you from Psalm 100 verse 3 Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us. We are the people, the sheep of his pasture. You see, God made us. God loves us. He knows all about us. And he wants the best for us. And, and if, if he's trying to get our attention, sometimes we, we do feel uncomfortable. We might lose our peace. And it's because God is trying to say something. You know, the shepherd looks after the sheep, doesn't he? And the sheep know his voice. Maybe God wants to speak to us today. Maybe he wants to say something fresh to us today. So the pillar was uncomfortable and it made me toss and turn in the night. It still does. Sometimes the tossing and turning can represent stress and the under pressure and the anxiety in our lives because we do face all these things sometimes, don't we? You know, we face stress, we face worry, we face anxiety. And it says in Matthew 6:34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And it's just that little, maybe that little exhortation. I'm talking, if I'm standing up here, I'm talking to myself as well. To just think of one day, the day that we're in and pray and commit it to the Lord. And not to allow that anxiety and that fear that tries to creep in. That songwriter, she didn't she write, one day at a time, sweet Jesus, one day at a time. We just can come to God and give him all of our worries and anxieties. And also with the hard pillow, uh, not able to sleep well. I kept thinking, well, Lord, what, what are you saying through that? And I thought God was saying, do you know something? We, we can know unrest in our lives, can't we? And God wants to bring rest and peace. And in um, Philippians, it's quite a small print, I'll try to read it out here. Well, Philippians um, 4, 6 to 7, um, I'll read it out. It says, do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I just think that's a lovely, lovely couple of lovely verses there. So instead of worrying, we can come to God and bring all of our petitions and requests to him in prayer and, and just give them to him and talk to him. And, and he will give us that peace. We will know that peace. But so often we don't do that. We rely on our own strength. And, you know, we can take the Bible and we can actually pray it out. We can pray it out into situations. You know, I was praying it out yesterday. Praying it out and praying out the, the Word of God. And it, it does, it breaks through. And um, I was just thinking too, <laughs> going back to the pillars again, because God speaks to me through little pictures. We're going to get need to get some new pillars, right? No, no question about it. Maybe... God is saying through this little message that he wants to do something new in our life, that there are new ways, there are new things from God that he wants to do. And if, if, if there is, let's just open up our hearts to him. It doesn't matter how old we are, God can still use us. Look at Abraham and Sarah, Look, at, God wants to use all of our lives. And in Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope in the future. Doesn't that bring security to us, that we can rely and depend on our God and the plans and purposes that he has for our lives, that we haven't got to worry or be anxious, but that he will help us. And if, if there are new things, then let's just open up our hearts to God. So we don't want to rely on those old pillars, right? <laughs> and what they represent, right? Because pillars only last for a certain amount of time. But God is with us always. God is with us always, every single day of our lives. And God wants to do new things in our life. He wants to show us new ways. He wants to just use our lives. So if we do chuck the old pillars out, let's make sure that we keep close to God. We keep close to his word. And this other lovely little um, Bible verse here I've got this morning. Um, it's one of our favourites. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. So it's about trusting God, it's about walking with God, it's about staying close to him. So maybe <laughs> next time, um, just think about this little message. 
you know, about the old pillows and about how maybe God wants to, um, if we're uncomfortable, you know, just speak to us and help us to feel comfortable in, in his ways. And if we're stressed and under pressure, you know, God can help us and he can just bring that peace. And if we've got unrest in our lives, God wants to bring back that rest. And maybe throw out the old, get rid of the old things and just uh, allow God to bring the new things into our lives. So I just hope that this little message um, has helped you and I just want to just pray for this little message that I've shared this morning with all the folks here. I'm a simple person and I just think sometimes you use simpleness to speak to us. So Lord, I just pray that you would, Lord, just touch our hearts and lives afresh today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to sing a song to you now. This is, um, yeah, I'm just going to sing a song. It's, um, it's called Can You Hear? And, and sometimes, if, 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 if Karen was outside the door, if I called Karen, she wouldn't hear me. I'd have to open the door to ask Karen, and she would hear me. Sometimes God is calling us, and we don't always hear him, because the door might be closed, or there might be some noise in the background. And this is a little song talking about hearing, being able to hear God. So sit back and enjoy the song, because God does want to speak to us. It's one I wrote a little while back ago. <clears throat> Over all of the, the world, over all the different countries, 
over all the, for what is happening, over all, all of what is going on. We just want to come and pray. Okay. And we pray for your peace. We pray for your love. We pray for your healing. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just break into these situations, change people's hearts and change people's lives. We pray for the churches all around the world, your people, churches that are being persecuted, people, Christians that are being, um, you know, killed and, and, and arrested and taken away and put in prison. We just pray, Lord Jesus, that they would just know that the mighty name of Jesus will keep them and will we'll keep them safe and will look after them and will help them, I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are going to sing, um, Father, I place into your hands. I think it's 133. 133. I just think this is a lovely um, one to sing.